Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Final Fantasy Tactics Advanced for the GBA. Ah, oh, this is a blast from the past, isn't it? Uh, this was released yeah, some time ago. I've, <laughs> I've done my research. So, here we are at the title screen. Uh, that's a innovation that stayed with us for a long time. Firstly, I'd like to draw your attention to the colour mode option, which gives you two options to make the colour in the game slightly worse. So you can have it vibrant, just a completely different colour, or miserable, if you, like me, live in a monochromatic world. Um, and here we are, the land of... Ivalis! Oh, look at that! Pixels! Remember when they were a thing? Oh, a thing you could see anyway. Shut up, Rain. Oh man! <laughs> yeah, that some of the dialogue in this is um, excruciating at best. But, uh, I don't know, endearingly so. Wow, Mute, that was a clever character name. You'll figure out why soon. <gasps> yeah, genius there, Square Enix, genius. <laughs> Uh, this is the sassy action girl. And switch with the smug bloke on my team. I don't know exactly how T... I, I've never been involved in a proper snowball fight. Are there like l lanyards everybody wears? We are members of Team A, Team B. It's something set in stone. Character naming screen! So of course we just stick with the default because honestly, screw working. Hang on, we need to do things first. If any of you have played uh, Final Fantasy Tactics, you might want to start trying to forget everything you know about the Tactics series, because this is infinitely less interesting. <laughs> See, start with the negatives, I feel. Let me give you some pointers on how to throw snowballs at people. I'd have thought it was an inbuilt skill, you know, throw the thing. Oh, oh, kids with the highest speed move first, do they? Uh, we'll have to exchange speed details before the match. See what's uh, see what's going on. Who can move first? Yep, and that's going to be your main way of attacking throughout the rest of the game. It's uh, Final Fantasy Snowball Edition. Uh, you can see help for any game command. Press select. I wish I knew which key select was mapped to. Here we are in the game, so this is the interface. You can throw snowballs, wait, um, look at what's going on in your life. Um, there you go. There we go. And you can then move around. So I'm going to take the high ground immediately. Wow, that's smooth. And throw a snow snowball. I wish I could throw one at the teacher. Uh, throw a snowball at Colin, because I hate Colin. Because he's smug and... Uh, damn you, Colin. Here we go. Just look at that face. Just look at him. Wow, you're going for mute. Didn't see that coming as soon as you lot started being so bloody... Calm, calm. <laughs> this is the tactics of the game, uh, which is if you're behind someone, you can hit them more easily. That is virtually the extent of the tactical genius which you can employ throughout this game. It does look like somebody's gone really over the top with the fake tan on Ritz there, doesn't it? Yeah, you are breaking rules actually, it's not your turn. What's the problem? It's because... Look at your hat! That's a problem. Let's start with that. <gasps> the animated snowball! The dramas! As you can see, his forehead's hurt, even though it clearly uh, clearly hit him in the stomach. <gasps> Look! He's colorblind! Or he's played the rest of the game. Uh. Oh, right. Y you have played the rest of the game. You're not colorblind. Yeah, like an old grandma who has white hair and is infinitely more likeable than you. <sighs> you can see that this game is set with 12-year-olds. I mean, actual 12-year-olds, not anime 12-year-olds. Was he sick? No. Oh, no, he wasn't. Yes, your brother Donad would love to see it after he gets out of hospital. 
and starts being a massive bitch. Spoilers. <laughs> wow, he lives in a yellow house. Swish. If anybody watches this video, I'll be astonished. <gasps> Look, it's the smug man. And the smug man is apologising to an angry man. I, I like to think that they're a pair of assassins and he's uh, screwed up a contract. Because from that dialogue I can really assume nothing else. <gasps> Smug Man is related to Mute! Ooh, wait, what's happened to this car over on the right hand side? It's got two different people have painted it. <gasps> Marsha doesn't have a dad. Oh no. I doubt there are any people in the world like that today. Don Ed, you're home! You're a man? What's going on with that kettle? Yeah. Th thanks, bro, thanks. <gasps> Disembodied voice. Marsha, your guests are here. <laughs> Tell them to come on up, Disembodied voice. Nothing except read and play games. And this is a problem because? <sighs> Let's put the sprite on the floor. And now some concept art. Ooh, I like this tune. You can't see me dancing, but I am. In unintelligible squiggles. It's Japanese. <laughs> Maybe there's some kind of magic... Who would think that's the... F you buy a second-hand book that you can't read, and you immediately assume it's a magic spell. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jesus. What kind of company do these people keep? Alta Oron. Sondus Camellia. If you could use magic, maybe you'd be better at sports. Ooh! Oh, no, it isn't actually. You're right. Burn the heretic! <laughs> if you could make any game real, which one would it be? It's a good question. Wow! <laughs> This is weird, actually. This is the one Final Fantasy game that uh, actually makes pretensions to having the normal human world in some way paralleled by the world of Final Fantasy. Thanks for having us over. We spent ten minutes here. Oh yeah, if I'm pronouncing Donard wrong, I don't care. Feel free to not post in the comments how to really pronounce it. Oh, this looks worryingly like the opening sequence. It is the opening sequence. Ah, looks like I'm sitting through this again. It really is quite pretty for a Game Boy game. In in my opinion. I mean, that dog's horrible, but... Just... <laughs> the rest of it's quite nice. Book. <gasps> Drama! Special effects. Ooh. And the... Th is that? What the... <gasps> And the world's gone, and they turned into a lizard, a cat girl, and a donkey. And you're pulsating? <gasps> this book has some really specific preferences about how things happen. <laughs> and I'm plonked into the clothes I'll spend the rest of the game in. Because uh, anime characters can't change. Good question. This is probably the most people you'll see on screen at once for a long time. <gasps> you silly fool. Uh, yeah, if you read them as Cockney, they're incredibly funny. <laughs> no shit, Marche. <laughs> there you are. Enter stage left. Apologise now. Sorry, <laughs> please don't hurt me. Yeah, you've noticed I'm the only person dressed in these clothes in the entire game, and I'm clearly a soldier. Wouldn't mind a little engagement. It's a bit forward, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, what is going on here? Bloody hell. <laughs> He's, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, we'd established that much. Mont Blanc! Way! <laughs> so there you are. You learn his name. You learn his name via the text caption. Engage means fight. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Montblanc. Well done. 
Yep, there's a judge, and you get laws, uh, which are the they're the sort of uh, starch of this game. You can't avoid laws until much later on, and I'll explain that. Probably never. Um, don't tell me you don't know what a law is. Forbid the use of all items, Kipo Kipo. So engagement is a battle, well done, and laws are laws. Genius. And that guy in the armour is the judge. Again, very clever. It's your turn, Cooper. Use your sword and abilities and I'll back you up. You mean, I'll go out and punch people ineffectually whilst you do the work. Alright, fair enough. Uh, it's that select. Ah, I found select! So there we go, let's... So this is what the action menu will look like uh, more properly in the game, so you get more actions as you go further through and you can customise them, etc. But for now, we're just going to do the Thicko's way to winning the battle, which is punch. <laughs> With sword. That makes sense. And Mont Blanc is a Black Mage, which is arguably the best class in the game. And they've just felled felled the Bangar with fire. You'd think that it you'd think that'd hurt, but all you get is some points. <gasps> KO verified, a judge point, well done. Yeah, now there that's a sensible question, because what the sodding hell is a judge point? That doesn't answer my question! Oh thank you, that answers my question. <laughs> he just used recover. <laughs> Not uh, not a very interesting play, but sod it. We take what we can get here. Especially since we're about to call down the gods of thunder. Pacha! Sorry, I might have delusional power fantasies. Whew, I guess I made it somehow. Yeah, by being my hugely outmatching the enemy's skill. That's how. Grr. Where's that potion? <gasps> An item? <gasps> the judge isn't taking that shit. Infraction of law. Violators will be sent straight to prison. Well, that's unrealistic, but yeah, we'll go with it. I like how a red card is like a punch to the stomach before you're teleported straight to prison. Oh, keep up, Marche. It's prison. Yeah, and people who break the law go to jail. That's how the, that's how the world works. Visitors are, go, are asked to go to the prison facility in in Sprom Sprom Sprom. Post in the comments how you pronounce that word, please. Yeah, thank you for helping me. That was very generous of you. <laughs> yeah, don't do that, you stupid twat. <laughs> I don't know. I'm confused. I'm talking to a st Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> you did not say that. <laughs> what did you mean, Kipo? What the fuck are you on about? I've seen a Bangar, but in a computer game. <gasps> Spoilers, he's been playing FF12. <laughs> I I I beg to differ, Marsha. <laughs> Um, if you were playing Final Fantasy, you wouldn't see a banger. Because it's about the Warriors of Light. You haven't played Final Fantasy at all, have you? This is the most Cupo story. Wow! How exactly... How can one be Cupo? I... I don't, I don't know whether I believe you. I, I, to be honest, more like I sympathise with you. <coughs> Jesus. <coughs> Well, that's not making the edit. Uh, yeah, I'm Marche. Hey, call me Mont Blanc. Come with me, etc. Please, please, can we start the game? No, we have to go to the tavern, which I will let off because it's got a really cool piece of music. I love the music in this game. Can you tell? Yeah, pretty rough jobs. Like what? What pretty rough jobs? The first mission, you pick flowers. Sure thing. 
Yeah, we we have an equal opportunities policy. We have to in, invite retarded gibbons to join as well. So, Marsha, you're in. <gasps> to commemorate me joining the clan, I get to name it. No. Are you an idiot? Uh, we shall be clan... Clan... Genius. Henceforth, we shall be called Clan Clan. <laughs> yeah, G genius, Marsha, genius. This is where we are right now in Ivalis. What? That doesn't even make sense. Oh, right, you're showing me a map. I I'd make sense now. Oh, God, I forgot how awkward. Yeah, okay, so Spruhu. You can go there. And we're into the game! Yay! Finally! Uh, let's just save. Spoilers! If you, like me, own this game at around the age of seven, and if you, like me, didn't know that you could press start on the map screen to open the menu, then wow! I've just blown your mind! <laughs> Hello. So this is the pub, this is where you can take up missions. I think we're going to take a mission. Yeah, I'm cool with the terms. So we have to pay 300 gil in order to take a mission that somebody else wants us to do. Fuck you. When can you start, Kipo? Right away! Because the first thing you do when you find a mystical land is start doing odd jobs, apparently. So as you can see in the bottom corner here, uh, <laughs> there is a cycle of the moon which is basically a month and the e it changes day for each square you move which uh, makes for some interesting uh, mission some missions can only be taken during certain phases of the moon etc etc 40 minutes before you can actually start playing the sodding game uh, party so this is what your party starts off as you're a ragtag band of various ethnicities etc so you've got people Camus Agatha wow you've got a traditional name um, what are you called you Wayne weren't we just fighting at you oh no that was I'm right into a mission uh, we'll have to deal with these monsters oh no then we can gather some herbs yeah, rough work, rough work. You have to punch a goblin and a fairy. Jesus Christ, Mont Blanc. It's a good job you toughen up later in the game. Funny how these sort of games always seem to start off with you murdering the native wildlife. It's like it's made by the opposite of the RSPCA. Whatever they are. Yeah, hang on, let me show you that again. As you can see, you get a readout of how much damage you're predicted to do and the predicted chance of hitting. So anything lower than 50 and you're normally wasting your time. Although paradoxically you seem to... I always seem to have better luck with low hit chances. Uh, so I don't know what's going on there. Um, white Mage is your support role with which you can do supporty things. Uh, and Soldier you sort of bog standard punch things with sharp sticks class which I guess are useful sort of I mean they're really useful later on when you can get them wielding two swords and swords that are basically made out of Satan's bones it's it's all good fun although throughout the game you do need to occasionally go to a place and murder the native wildlife so back to your roots it's it's nice to it's nice to make sure you stay down to earth by coming back and murdering the wildlife. And we'll punch him, you see. Twenty one damage, seventy five percent. Yes I got needlessly excited there. Fire Yes Uh you can see down in the bottom left hand corner, which I keep pointing at with my uh, you see down in the bottom left hand corner that it's recording XP and level. Maximum level is 50, 100 XP per level. And as you go on further in the game and you do more damage, you earn less XP. So, um, yeah, the more effective you are, the less XP you get. Please explain that to me, somebody. 
As you can see, I'm not really stopping and considering my moves, because tactics don't really come into the game until... well, ever, actually. Uh, you rarely have to be properly tactical, like you occasionally did in uh, tactics... in the original tactics, which I still hold as one of the... Uh, I think probably the best handheld game I've ever played. Probably. The War of the Lions re-release, that is. Because I have spent a long time on that. Not as long as Dissidia, but uh, that game eats your life in a, an entirely different way. <laughs> a completely nonsensical way, but... Let's try and shoot him. Yes! Arrow to the face. Yes! Eat that! I tell you, if you've ever played this game, you'll know how horrible fairies get later on. They just are so, so annoying. And they always seem to get the most powerful moves. <sighs> God, my hands are cold. Here comes the goblin with his fists of fury. How did you not dodge that? It was the world's slowest punch. Yeah, let's see if the smug git can dodge this. Ha ha ha! And... That'll teach you to gently punch me whilst I slice your kneecaps off with a sword. Yeah! I'm the good guy. Honest. So for some reason, judges have the ability to move dead bodies around just so it's harder for you to revive them. That, I, I never understood that. Judge come Undertaker. Who who thought that was a good idea? I don't know. Yay! The last hit of the battle and we are victorious! Woo! Yay! That's all of the local wildlife that we've brutally murdered. The thing is, these missions always involve the people being revived. Why Why do you want to revive the local wildlife afterwards? I mean, what? Won't they just come back and attack you again? I... Uh, who knows? What were we looking for? That's a good question. Heard the latest rumours. Oh my god! Uh, yeah, I've probably heard them. I've read them all before. Uh, right, so as you can see now, there are lots of different missions. Usually the one at the top is the story mission at the time, so that's the one that you take to advance the story. This is the one... This is... What do you have to do? Dispatch for three days? These are dispatch missions, so you send out one of your party members who has a chance of uh, completing the mission successfully, indicated by how much of a prep they make themselves look in the right-hand screen. And they last for set amounts of time, so three days for this one. Um, we'll accept that. Ooh, Thunder Rod was great, so I've got a thing now. And a party member! So par party people were... Uh, uh, bleh. People join your party throughout the game, uh, so you can either accept them or decline them. Uh, at this stage, you might as well just add everybody, because it's good to have uh, spare people. Later on, you'll just send them away crying. Um, I need to have said that quite so forcefully. Uh, other things you can do, you can equip your party with various things. As you can see, I currently have a short sword, some basic armor, and a shield. Each of these has abilities mapped to it. Now, you learn new things by collecting AP after battle, and they go into... the AP goes into the skills currently unlocked by the equipment you're wearing. So, I don't know, I meant to go down. And then you can pick abilities. I am going to set... It's best to just have everybody to have item. Oh, shield bearer, that works. It will do nothing at the moment, but sod it. No, don't remove you. Now, this is a mission in which you have to kill more local wildlife. Local wildlife that has invaded the town. So, I'll let them off on this one, but... You do end up killing quite a lot of local wildlife. Uh, look at the bombs! They'll burn the whole town down! The whole town made of stone! You can't burn stone down! 
Unless you heat it really hot. Really, really hot. Have you ever tried to have you ever tried to oxidize granite? It's not easy. So whilst these bombs ineffectually float, posing no threat to me or anybody else, we'll just fill them full of arrows. As you can see, they all get randomly generated names and usually sound far cooler than anybody in your party. Unless they're called Grood. Screw you, game! Watcha! And you can see the animation, the attack animation, all two, two glorious frames of it. Uh, how many frames are we looking at here? Three! Wow! Oh, look at him! He's all wilty. You've 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 punctured his punctured his something. <laughs> and move you this direction so you can cast hopefully rain down arcane death. Oh, perfect. Aha! And yes, fire bombs absorb fire uh, and turn it into health, so they can actually heal each other by attacking, which uh, makes it difficult for you to kill them, but. Uh, does add some interesting elements to the game later when you unlock equipment which lets you do the same. <gasps> Fire damage! Stop the press! Ow. Say sorry. Say sorry. <sighs> Honestly. There we are, all cool. And really cold actually. God, it's cold. <laughs> um, no, don't wait. Now, these are combos. You use judge points for them, and if other people in your team have combos equipped, they can join in with the attack. Uh, obviously, that was just completely wasteful, but uh, never mind. Pacha! Rain down, fiery death! Pacha! What is it against with you and my white mage? You keep trying to burn him to death. Alright, I take it back. You're not innocent wildlife. You've lost your title of wronged, wronged wildlife. You're now just murderers. There we are. Let's... Oh, bah. So there you are. There's me shooting an arrow into the terrain. Genius. Patra! That might be my favourite noise. Uh, kind of like when they breathe in their fire thing. It makes them look incredibly surprised. Like somebody's just told them some really shocking news. You'd think I'd learn, wouldn't you? You'd think. Yay! Battle won. Phew. Glad we stopped them before it spread to the other streets. Me too, Marche. I'm so glad we stopped it. It would have had virtually no effect. So, that was Fun Fancy Tactics Advance for the Game Boy Advance. I uh, hope that this has been both informative and enjoyable. Um, if you liked it, feel free to do one of the customary things you do when you like a video. Um, if you feel I could have improved it in any way, constructively that is, feel free to uh, leave something in the comments for me and I probably might consider reading it. Um, and besides that, uh, I think that's everything. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, goodbye. Oh, you're going get getting you. Well done, brain. You can cast cure at the moment, so you're virtually useless. White mage is your support. Bleh.